today we are in Brisbane in the leafy inner city suburb of Barden and we're going to show you a classic American inspired home executed to perfection. Hi. Hey Carleen. Good to see you again. You too. Hey this one looks brand spanking new. Just finished yeah? Just finished yes. Yep. So. And sloped block always comes with some difficulties. Did you face some challenges? Yeah we had a couple of challenges with this one and um, plenty of excavation and retaining but pretty happy with the end product. Got there in the end. You did. Well it's very pretty. Should we go yeah. and take a look? Absolutely. Let's go. Wow, another classic American delight. That's right, yes. It's amazing, look at the ceiling. Yeah, we did the coffered ceilings for a yeah. bit of added detail. Yeah. It's all on the same level, so mm -hmm. from the kitchen you can see the pool, mm -hmm. the grass, we've got the grass area at the back and obviously the entertaining area. Yeah. So for families, um, it's an entertainer's delight. It you know? really is. So tell me about the design process for this house. We wanted everything flowing from indoors to out. We've got the big uh, stack of doors here that you can just open right up. So if you're entertaining, you've got full continuity and uh, everything's all on the one level. And the classic American style home, is that something you tend to find just works really well, sells really well? Yeah, look, well, it's got a lot of features of a Queenslander. So you've got a lot of colonial features, which resonates with a lot of people. Um, that like that traditional character but want something low maintenance. So mm -hmm. we find they sell really well and they're fairly sought after. How long did it take you from go to woe with this place? Um, the construction on this place, we were around 14 weeks. Wow. So yeah, so it was uh, once we got out of the ground, nothing stopped us. That's tight. Yeah. Yeah. Do you generally work to those tight timelines? Uh, we usually keep it fairly tight. We've got a pretty versatile team that's very efficient and know how to overcome hurdles fairly quickly. The white kitchen, it's a classic, isn't it? It's always going to sell well. Just a little bit of extra detail in with the shaker and also the brush brass tapware um, and handles and adds a nice little touch to it. Yeah, I love those handles. I love the scale of that living room. And I really think, I mean, I know the kitchen is the heart of the home, but we happen to spend a lot of time in our living room. And I love how it's so open to the rest of the home. I think that really is how a modern family uses their home it's just that the flexibility of the space yeah absolutely nice big open light spaces once all the doors are open you get a nice beautiful breeze yeah and uh yeah it flows really well You've essentially got three bathrooms up here on top of your four bedrooms. You've obviously created this house for a family. Yeah, absolutely. So second master is for your eldest child or a guest. That way everyone has their own space. Kids are so spoiled these days. Can you imagine having an ensuite growing up? Extremely spoiled, <laughs> extremely spoiled. I love the detail in this space as well. The barn doors are really cool. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we got the barn doors, um, nice solid core doors and made them all on site. Yeah, right. um, so yeah, pretty happy with how they came up. And it's pretty cool how you can completely close off the walk-in robe because they are undeniably spaces that get messy very quickly. So talk to me about the bathrooms. So with the bathrooms, we went the normal subway tile, plenty of detail, um, really subtle because we use a white grout. Yeah. Um, we did the shaker style cabinetry with ferro marble tops, um, with top mount basins and all bronze uh, fixtures and fittings. And then put the circle mirrors in just for a little nice touch at the end. Bathrooms can be expensive to update, so you don't want to get sick of your bathroom, you know, in the next one, two, three, ten years even. So I think it's important that your finishes in a bathroom are classic and will sort of show longevity as a trend. How good's that opening? Yeah. What a luxury. Yeah, it brings the uh, outside in and inside out. And I mean, a pool in Queensland, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Absolutely, it's a staple in any home. You yeah. need a pool in this heat. And to have a low maintenance one, I think is really important as we sort of 
the pace of our lives get busier and busier. I think a modern family is all about low maintenance in their house. A plunge pool is really all you need. Yeah, absolutely. This is a salt and chlorine mix and uh, doesn't require a pool guy at all. Well, you must be really proud. You've done a sensational job once again. What are you guys up to next? Uh, off to Paddington to do a couple of contemporary builds. Perfect. Well, thank you once again for showing me through. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Carly.